How to Calculate Climb Gradient When you're preparing for takeoff, especially in areas with obstacles, understanding how to calculate the climb gradient is essential for a safe and successful flight. So let's break it down step by step. First, you need to know what the climb gradient is. It's the ratio between the distance covered over the ground and the altitude gained. This tells you how steep the aircraft's climb path needs to be to clear any obstacles and reach a safe altitude. To calculate the climb gradient, you start by identifying the height of the obstacle you need to clear and its distance from the airport. For example, if you have a 1,000-foot obstacle five nautical miles from the airport, you divide the obstacle height by the distance. So, 1,000 feet divided by five nautical miles gives you 200 feet per nautical mile. Next, you need to convert this into a percentage gradient. To do this, you divide the climb gradient by 60. Using our example, 200 feet per nautical mile divided by 60 gives you a percentage gradient of 3.3%. Now, to find the rate of climb, you multiply this percentage gradient by your true airspeed. If your true airspeed is 120 knots, then multiplying 3.3% by 120 knots gives you a rate of climb of 400 feet per minute. Another way to look at it is by considering your ground speed. The faster your ground speed, the slower your vertical speed needs to be to maintain the same climb gradient. For instance, if you're climbing at 120 knots and need a 300 feet per nautical mile gradient, you'll need to achieve a 600 feet per minute climb rate. These calculations are crucial because they help you plan your flight and ensure you can safely clear any obstacles during takeoff. By understanding and applying these formulas, you can navigate safely and efficiently. Remember, the key is to know your ground speed, the required climb gradient, and how to convert these values into practical metrics for your flight. This knowledge will help you master climb gradients and ensure safe IFR departures.